Hey guys, I just um, <laughs> I just uh, previewed my video before I post it. Thank God for editing, right? If you're sitting outside your house watching this video and you're hearing all these birds, they're back. It's my video. Unless you got, you know, a bunch of uh, birds hanging in the trees annoying the heck out of you. So, um, just saying, if you're in your house <laughs> watching this video, <laughs> it's going to sound like you're in a damn forest. All right. That's all. Enjoy the video. Keep safe, everybody. What's up, you two? Oh, my God. No introductory singing. No nothing. I am utterly speechless, but I'm going to talk. I ain't going to stop me. <laughs> uh, new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Old subscribers, always great to see you. Future subscribers, just be cool, man. All right? That's all I ask. All right? This is supposed to be fun. So, uh, about six months ago or so, I heard about, you know, Rambo Last Blood. And of course, the first thing on my mind is, what kind of knife are they going to be using? Actually, it was more than six months ago. What kind of knife? What is Gil Hibben going to design? So, you know, as the weeks go by, weeks go by. Uh, it was just about a year ago, I see a photo of what they call the hard stopper. Oh, I'm definitely getting that replica. <laughs> No ands, if or buts about it. Absolutely. And it's going to join the rest of the family. Now, I don't use the replicas. Everybody knows that. All right, they're for safekeeping. Matter of fact, that's like, uh, my son's like pretty athletic and he can really care less about knives. But out of my entire collection, if anything should ever happen to me, they're the ones that he is taking care of. He said all the Rambos and the Expendables. Okay, so this is really aimed towards like the newer subscribers. So back in October, I saw a photo of what the Heart Stopper is going to look like. And uh, man, I was in. I'm like, I can't wait to get my hands on that. Apparently, it's going to take forever for them to start selling. So, about five months ago or so, six months ago, I saw this gentleman on YouTube. He made his own. And uh, I'll leave you his link. And um, I was like, wow, so inspired. This was a thing of beauty. His name is Jed Hornbeak. All right? I'll leave you his link and all that. So, he did an entire video on how he made his knife. Unbelievable. All right, the thing is gorgeous. So I got inspired. I contacted my boys at the Kukri House and made Paul, and they did a hard stopper for me. Now it's not an exact replica, but it's going to be 10 times better than what they're going to be selling. And I'll tell you why. The steel on this thing is a beast. This thing does get a lot of use, okay? I love it. All right, took me a little while to get used to the, uh, you know, the sub hilt here, but they used um, like 52100 steel. I put this thing through the ringer, and I absolutely love it. Okay, yes, I'm not blind. I see some differences, but the main point is, it's pretty identical. All right, with uh, you know the length and all that good stuff. Um, might be a lot thicker than the. Uh, replica I'm not sure but uh yeah the guards different and the handles different I could always have that fixed if I wanted to all right I can always have that upgraded all right with the chain ring bolts and all that but I thought about it thought about it and I said you know what I like it as is I'm keeping it as is all right uh if anybody wants one go out to the kukri house go uh, you know the uh, k8 K H H I Nepal, and um, you'll you'll see it on there. Go to like the custom section and start paging, and you know you'll find it. All right, they'll make you one.
and heck, you might get it quicker than uh, the replicas. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, let's see, where was I? Where was I? Okay, so I have a massive collection. This has become one of my favorite knives. They did a wonderful job. It's gorgeous. All right. Now, I consider myself, you know, a pretty good looking guy for my age. But if you're standing next to Brad Pitt, if I'm standing next to Brad Pitt, forget about it. I ain't, I ain't ever leaving the house. <laughs> this brings me to yesterday. Out of the blue, I receive a package. And there's a letter. Uh, basically, Dear Cowboy Seabop, this is a donation to your channel. I can't believe it. I'm over the moon. It's from the gentleman who made his own custom Rambo Park Stopper knife. The one that I fawned over. All right. That was the MK9. MK9. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be funny. I opened this package. Lo and behold, I am over the moon. We'll get to this in a second. All on my own, I know a lot of you are going to laugh at me out there, but I didn't realize that when uh, Deepner, Deepner Pohl, you know, created these knives, he called, you know, one the MK8 and the MK9, and I always confuse them. Which one's which? I want the MK9, or is it the 8? Hey, it's real simple. MK8 stands for 8-inch blade. And guess what the MK9 stands for? The 9-inch blade. <laughs> anyway, so let's get, to, um, let's get to the package. All right, first of all, I'm already over the moon, right? Look at this sheath he made, hand-stitched himself. Can you guys, can you guys see that? Got it right in the right into the leather, you know, cowboy seabop. Look at this sheet. This thing is unbelievable. I don't know how the hell he did it, but he did it. All right. He even put a little spot here for a lanyard hole. Looks like he kind of folded it over, seamed it, stitched it, and there you go. All right. So that'd be a good leg tie right there. All right. Hope I'm in focus. Guys, I'm nervous. I'm still I'm still like overjoyed with this. I, I added this uh, camo lanyard. All right, let's get back in focus here. I'll pick up the camera to get a good angle on it. Look at this, look at this. I know it's not the exact, exact, but it's, as my son puts it, a hell of a lot prettier than the one that they're gonna be selling. Look at that, six millimeter thick. G10 handles, look at this blue. Is that not pretty? Uh, copper handguard. This is my first copper handguard Bowie knife. And the steel he used on this, look at how well he did this. I'm gonna be sending you a link to his channel. Check out how this man, you know, works. He is an artiste. What a talent. You know, a lot of these awesome knives out there, they're great knives, but they're not so pretty. Some are really pretty, but they're not so great. He knocked this one out of the park. Beautiful and phenomenal. Uh, believe it's called A2 Steel. Yes, A2. All right. So. Let's play a little, a little bit with uh, these photos I took. And I'm gonna bring the camera around, guys. All right? Give me a second. I'm all over the place. All right. Let me start blowing. All right, here are, here are the real 
you know, Rambo, Last Blood, Knives. The MK8 and the MK9, okay? Uh, used in Rambo, Last Blood. I kind of took a similar picture to my knives. Okay? They're my babies right there. What do you think? Huh? I'm liking it. And which one's the prettiest? Yes. Wanted to just uh, share that little tidbit with you. Let's put this away over here. Because it might get a little wet, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's get a better look at this sheath. That is one high-quality sheath. Look at that. Cowboy Seabot. Guys, this is like better than Christmas. Every Christmas ever. <laughs> Here's the beauty. Look at that. Yeah, he even used the chain ring bolts, which my heart stopper is lacking, but that's okay. I said I could always upgrade later if I choose the cop copper handguard. A2 steel. Look at look at how he filed that in there. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, so beautiful. Look at this. I wish you guys could feel this. Oh Lord. Did you tell him happy everybody? All right, let's put this uh, back and uh, let's just have a little fun. It's a little uh, nippy out here, ladies and gentlemen. So let's kind of move it along here. Had to have coffee with Rambo today. You know that. All right. How about some chicken? Dogs are inside, they're not stupid. For them. Alright. Not, I just picked up the wrong knife. <laughs> there we go. Alright. How about a little chicken? Alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, we know it cuts chicken. Alright. Cuts it rather nice too. Little slithers, yeah. That's beautiful. But hey, a butter knife can cut chicken, right? All right, let's have fun with a little uh, wood. Let's clear this out the way. All right, All right. I need a workbench, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I'm not comfortable doing it like this, just so you know. Oh my God. Not only is this the prettiest knife in my collection, this just might be my all time favorite now. Oh my goodness. All right. Got a little, little chip away here, chop away, chip away. Oh my goodness. Guys, I want every one of you to just feel this. Oh, I'm loving it. Let's come over here and do, do a couple. Uh, now, nah, let's do this first. Let's go do a little water bottle testing. All right, it's getting cold. I'm trying to hurry up. Guys, you gotta get over, tell them Cowboy Seabop sent you, all right? 
Go subscribe to his channel. Check out this man's work. Unbelievable. He did the Rambo Heart Stoppers, the Rambo 4 machete with spikes. You got to see this. And now he's getting ready to do the three. He's working his way down. All right. Do, do, do. So happy together. All right. Let's finish off with some uh, downward drops. This point, by the way, sharp both sides. All right? Both sides. All right. Yeah, that's in there. How pretty is that? You guys getting this? One more for the road. A little higher. Can you take me higher? So needless to say, I am over the moon. Look at this beauty. I will treasure this always. And you know he's going to be making other appearances again. Okay? Just wanted to just get this out of the way. This is absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. And here is some of his videos. Here is, sorry, there we go. That's where you want to go. Jed Hordenby Knives. Okay. Where's that one at? <laughs> That's how I found them. Right there. That's the link I'm going to leave for you guys. Okay. If not, he's not that hard to find. He's got so many awesome videos. Check them out. Okay. All right. Do, 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 do. Am I making you dizzy? All right. How are we going to end this video? Be safe, everybody. And as always, um, I'll be back more with this. I said, just wanted to uh, share one more story with you. Guys, I fell asleep on the couch last night. I was watching 1917. I had this under the couch. When I woke up this morning, first thing I did was I reached under the couch to make sure it was still there. <laughs> <laughs> I said, am I dreaming? This is unreal. All right. Jed Hornbeak, ladies and gentlemen, get over there. Tell them Cowboy C. Bob sent you. And uh, be safe. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> My hands are cold.